Okay, for placing an elevator, we need to decide where it's going to go, and we also are going to create walls around it. But the first thing that we want to do is just place the elevator. So I'm going to go to Component. And my component's already been loaded, but you will want to go to Load Family, and then find the elevator. Uh, Revit City Downloads, and the elevator. So I've already got mine loaded. So once it's loaded, uh, you do need to lock it onto a wall. So if I want the elevator to be on the inside of the building like this, then I would click on this side. And if I want it to be on the outside of the building like this, then I would click on this wall. And doors are automatically going to be created for it as well. I'm going to put it right here against this wall. And the elevator has now been locked into place. And there's actually already been a hole created for the door. So I'm going to hit Escape, Escape to get out of my placing of the elevator. And you'll notice if I go to 3D view that I now will have an elevator and it's very tall. It's got 10 floors on it. And you'll also notice that the second floor is coming out right here. Now let's say that my second floor started right at the top of this wall. Well, this wall is 20 feet tall. If I click on it, it's 20 feet. Let's say this is my first floor and I want the second floor to start 20 feet up. Well, this is how we're going to change that. I'm going to click on the elevator. And once the elevator has been selected, then I'm going to change the properties of it over here in my Properties tab. So right here we've got Distance From, and I'm actually going to expand this just so you can see. So I've got Distance from Stop 1 to Stop 2, Stop 2 to Stop 3, and all of them are 10 feet increments. And I want it to be 20 feet, but I also want there to only be one stop or two, I should say. Elevator number of stops, it's on 10, that means 10 floors, but I have a two-story building, so I'm going to make this two. Hit apply. That's going to take care of all these extra floors. And I also want the next door to open up 20 feet high, so I'm going to go down here to where it says distance from stop one to stop two, and I'm going to change this from 10 to 20 feet. And now it's up 20 feet, so that's exactly where we want it to be. So now the elevator has been configured, and if I look on the other side, you will notice that there is a door for the elevator, and a door for the second floor of the elevator as well. Now the next thing we have to do is put a wall around this, so I'm going to go to my level 1 floor plan, and I've got walls here, but I want to enclose this elevator inside a wall. So I'm going to go to my wall, and I'm going to use the same wall I've been using. This is the exterior brick and CMU and metal stud, and your wall may be different, but you just want to use the same walls as your out, outer wall. And I'm going to lock on to here to the middle of the wall, and I'm going to draw a wall out here until I get to the outside of the elevator. And then I'm going to turn the corner until I get to the other side of the elevator, and I'm going to close it off like so. Escape, escape, no longer putting walls in. Now I'm going to go to my 3D view and you will see that there is now a wall around my elevator which is exactly what I want. The wall is however going the wrong direction so I'm going to go back to level 2 and I'm going to click on my walls and flip them so that they're going the other way because I do want the brick to be on the outside. And once you have the brick flipped, then it'll have the brick from the wall, which is exactly what you want. That's how you create an elevator.